After the environment built, the robotic arm can be controlled through computers. Before doing anything, please ensure that, firstly, the power supply of the robotic arm is normal. Secondly, the connection is correct. Cable connecting to the left side port. Use command ip config to check the IP address, and then set it to segment 1 to 3. Ping the IP we just set to check if the communication works fine. Open Z1 SDK after ensuring the communication. There are three folders nodes on the left. Open the CMake list. Text in Z1 controller folder where you can select simulating or controlling Z1. You can switch control mode using keyboard or SDK and gripper mode with or without the gripper in the config ZML. Open the terminal and run Z1 controller. The executable file Z1CTRL will be generated after compiling. After running Z1CTRL, Z1 then can be controlled through keyboard, and the user manual will be included in the document that provided by Unitree. Here we use joint control as an example to control Z1. Here I will demonstrate how to switch control mode to SDK. Open the terminal and run Z1 control. Open Z1 SDK and open the terminal to compile.
there is going to be four executable files generated after compiling. Here we run big demo as example. That is all for controlling Z1 through Z1 SDK. Thank you for watching.